Hello everyone and welcome back to the RMTV Women's Podcast. This is episode 150 and because it's 150 we thought we'll do it in the office. No we didn't. We didn't think that at all. No. Amy wrote 149 on the agenda and I've <laughs> literally just changed it so that that explains everything. I am stupido. Yeah but you know we are back in the office and as you can see we've got a nice new addition to the table. Our lovely silver award from... Silver edition. Silver edition. Nice. Um, our lovely award from last week's Football Content Awards. So a big, big, big thank you to everyone who voted for us. Um, we were both very shocked. Did not expect no. anything. So I woke up to it. That was a lovely mm. wake up morning message. Instagram tag. Yeah. Reply. And me just saying... Mention. Me just saying, congrats. I know. Thumbs up. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again for everyone who voted. It's really very much, much appreciated. appreciated. Mm. Oh, that's why we won the award. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, Chemistry. Yeah, it'll go lovely with our other one. So, oh, yeah. Which it was there, but it's, it's been demoted, it's been apparently. Moved. Um, it's been moved. I think it's upstairs somewhere, so... We'll we'll put a picture on the story of them both together. Fire on the arm. No. no, no. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this week's podcast. Um, first protocol on today's agenda is obviously Liverpool's game last week, last Wednesday, um, to be exact. We faced Aston Villa in the Conti Cup. Yes. A nice little five four win on penalties. Um, mm-hmm. It was only halfway through that I remembered that this game does go to pens. Um Oh yeah, I hadn't a clue, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Well I was with I was with Emma and I was with Kiva and then I was with there was a few lads from there for a rap there and we were all just like, Oh, this goes to pens if it's one one and then so, you know, we thought that's gonna be exciting. The one thing I wanna point out about the penalty is okay. which I didn't enjoy, did not like and I think everyone will agree with me, is that when Aston Villa won the toss, they went to the other end of the pitch where the fans weren't there. And it's like... Why? Why would you do that? Like, I get the whole, like, being psyched out by the crowd and blah, 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 but... I mean, it's not like it's a packed stadium. But there was a lot of Aston Villa fans in that end. Oh, all the fans were together. Okay. So the, No, so all the fans were together in the yeah. main bit, mm-hmm. but then they went the other end. So I'm like, Random. why would you not go the other end? So... That was the only... So you couldn't see any in, really? No, you, like, literally, like... So, like, all the players obviously got the back to the crowd when taking the penalty, so it's a bit... It was a bit stupid, but... Anyways. That's the only downfall, but... I thought it was a really entertaining game. Um, Yeah, Riley Foster had a good match, I thought. Yeah. She's obviously... I think the goalkeepers has been a big talking point for us the last, like, two seasons. Who starts, who doesn't? Who rotates for the Cups, who doesn't? But, obviously, Foster got the nod for this one. Um, and she she did really well, but it's really interesting to go up against the WSL club, isn't it? And obviously, mm. we won on pens, but we held our own against Aston Villa. I thought. Oh yeah, I think like the biggest the biggest takeaway probably is the fact that okay yeah we we've, that's the first time this season that we've come up against a WSL side. Um, obviously not having the best start to the championship. Us, I mean, okay, that's a bit harsh. We had an mm. okay start. Mm. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot better. Put it that way. But this is the first time we've come up against opposition in the league where we're trying to be, and to come out with a good result from that. And I mean, they could have easily walked all over us, but, but they didn't. Like as you said, like we held our own, and um, obviously pulled a goal back after going down, which shows quite quite a lot of resilience from the team. So. Yeah, I mean it's 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 great news, and you know what I mean. Like, they're the nights that you live for in football. Like yeah. late evening, I going love, to penalties. I love evening it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Like the floodlights, you go into penalties. Like the suspense is quite high. Um, a good atmosphere, like with mm. both sets of fans in. So they're the moments you sort of live for in football, and it's just great that we were able to come out on top. You know what? We were all right on penalties. You know, yeah, we we've did won well. penalty shootouts quite a lot over the season. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Um, I hate penalties when it's, oh, yeah. when it's your own team. It's not I can't a choice. Stand it. Yeah, um, but yeah, like don't get me wrong. We obviously went one nil down inside the first two minutes. wasn't the ideal start. I thought on on the break on the counter, Aston Villa looked really sharp. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you said, then we obviously held our own against them, and obviously Le- Leanne Cannon absolutely on fire. Oh, she's at the last couple of games. Three points. Chi. Chi. Three points. 
Uh, I think it was four goals in three ga- in the last crazy. three games, which is, you know, really good. Um, good return. return. Nice. Mm-hmm. Touch wood. Uh, yeah. And she's also beat her goal tally this season for the whole of last season. So Amazing. Because sp- she's one of the players that we highlighted in pre-season yeah. as a new player coming in. And can she get the goals for us? Having only scored three for West Ham last season, and it's, here we go, is, is the proof's in the pudding, do you know what I mean? Yeah. She, she's done it so far this season for us. You let her settle in, and then she, mm. get, she gets the goal for us. Yeah, she, and that that's exactly right. Like, literally settled into the team. Regular then, starting. Yeah. Well, I mean, regu- obviously she came off the bench to score that goal, yeah. but... In the in the um in the league, she's been regularly starting. Yeah, she has. Putting in, she just looks really hungry for it. Mm. Like whenever you see her on the pitch, whether she's actually scoring a goal or or she she's assisting or just impacting on play, she's just raring to go in every mm. occasion. She's got so much energy. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, if you if you're in the right position and you're working hard, it's gonna fall for you. So she's getting yeah. all the the credit she deserves now. Yeah, and it's also just a really good boost of confidence for the whole squad in general. It's kind of I've said this so many times on so many podcasts, but it's kind of annoying going into like a break now because We've you got come, such momentum. You yeah. come back a go a really good away win against Sheffield United that puts us second in the league, and then a cup win against WSL opposition the, this year a few days later. And now it's like there's no football until the thirty first of October for, for us, and it's like. It's okay it, though, like if, yeah. A rest but, will do us good, and then you hope that the players that are on international break have a good, have a good run on the national mm-hmm. break and come back with more, even more motivation. But yeah. I know what you mean. It does disrupt it a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, which is a bit annoying, but we can deal with it. Obviously, like I said, then second in the table, so sounds good. You can't it? really complain at this this point. Of, is it uh, Durham the at the top? Durham at the top, yeah. Wow. Which is ugh, Durham. standard. We don't like Durham, but no. yeah. Um, overall. Really happy with how the season's going yeah. so far for Liverpool women. Um, like we said, could be better, could be worse. We were in a di- really different position, I think, this time last season. So Even a couple of weeks ago? Even Yeah, even a couple of weeks ago. You were like, I think we sat down. I think the last podcast we did in here, we sort of highlighted, like... We thought the world is, was ending. Yeah, because we're very dramatic like that. Yes. But, you know. I keep looking at the screen, not the camera. I don't know why I'm doing that. We're not um, even on it. It's like a picture I know. of a mountain. It's like a picture of a mountain. You know, everyone who has a Mac knows which mountain we're talking about. It's mm. the one that's very narrow at the no. front and expands <laughs> sounds good, and expands wider to the back and it's got some really deep blue sea with a couple of waves crashing. <laughs> this is a novel I'm speaking here. Tom thought he was doing well by not putting us on the screen so we could look at ourselves. But it's actually there's a there's a couple of abandoned rocks around the outside. I'm getting side a lovely couple. skyline. I reckon that's a bit like um, you know in Harry Potter where like Dumbledore's like buried yeah. and there's like there's like a little island it also close by with like loads of trees I reckon that's what that looks it like it looks like the Mamma Mia island where they go up the stairs to the mm. top of the church do you know you can't get married you can't actually go in that church it's not you open. can go up the walkway though can't yeah, you yeah but it's not open to the public oh, that's really sad so, so sad imagine what if you wanted to get married there you can't what if you wanted to be like just might get married outside and like the watch us like on just the stairs just get married on the steps innit yeah <laughs> okay yeah get a donkey <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah. Um, right, moving on. We'll move on. Um, some UEFA news. Uh, so UEFA has announced its support for the UEFA Women's Champions League um, further this season. So UEFA's new Queens of Football campaign celebrates the Women's Champions League. Building up to the finals, some of Europe's top players will be immortalised in art and displayed in a unique exhibition. I thought Tom was putting Was a, that Doja a, a, Cat? Oh, my God. That was Doja Cat from just that. It doesn't look like... Was it? Go on, put it back on. Oh, can't get it off, no. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get it off. He can't now. get it off the screen. It's definitely Doja Cat. It's the heels from the Go Down, Go Town video. Oh, the actual, like, Red Man Offers anthem. Yeah. We love it. No one can see this right now, no. but it's quite fascinating. He's absolutely screwed it up. You've ruined me mountain! Anyway, anyway, carry we'll, on. We'll, we'll immortalize. That. I love that word. Immor- immortalize. Sounds yeah. a bit spooky. In, yeah, in art, but very Halloween oh, theme. We need to do a Halloween themed video. Mm. No. Well, we have a game on Halloween, so our next game is Halloween. Oh yeah. So it's against Lewis. I have to get some lose. I, have to get I never some know. Game. We've been doing this for nearly four seasons, and I don't know whether it's lose or Lewis. We'll have to get some sweeties for the yeah. box. But anyway, um, yeah. 
Europe's top players will be immortalized in art and displayed in a unique exhibition. Um, it will apparently it's being projected onto the more remarkable Turin Palace. It is, it's in Italy. It sounds it's, it's where Juventus ch- play. It's ch- Turin. Okay. That one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Yeah. I am there. I'm right. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, having quadrupled the tournament prize money to 24 million. Well done. Um, and announced Dazen. Dazen? I believe it's not. Dazen. <laughs> As the Women's Champions League first global broadcast partner earlier this year, <laughs> UEFA demonstrates its continued commitment to increasing the prestige and profile of its Premier Premier Club competition by showcasing its stars through the Queens of Football Queens campaign. Of football. If we remember, we'll put the link in the description. We forget. We never remember, yep. but the thought that we'll do our best. Um, if not, just search UEFA Queens of Football and it'll, it'll come up. But yeah, um, it's nice to see that each season... There's something just a little bit more added to the Women's oh, yeah. Champions League. My only thing is... Go on, tell me your qualms. It's the name. Queens of Football. It's a bit stereotypical, isn't mm. it? Can't it be stars of football? You know what I mean? Yeah, like... Then project them onto the sky. Oh, yeah, but who's going to be like this? Mm, Stargazers. Mm. But yeah, do you know what I mean? Queens of Football is just a bit weird. I mean, I understand why they've done it, but it's a bit. bit it's much the very, it. it's the very stereotypical. Yeah, that's like, my thing. I mean, it's Queens nice what the, it's nice what they're doing. You never know. It might see a bit of Frank Kirby on the old Turin Palace. You know <laughs> In what I mean? In Italy. In Italia. Um, but yeah, no, should we go? Oh God, you say every every podcast there's always something, and you're like, should we go? We never go. We never go. We'll go. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're not going. <laughs> not going. Um, but yeah, no. It's nice each season. There's something, something new added to it, and I think, oh god, another building block for building the palace <laughs> of women's football. Tom, help me. <laughs> um, each season, it's nice that there's something new added. To yes, help very true. To help the women's Champions League. Yes, I agree. <laughs> no, but like no, in, in like all seriousness. <laughs> yeah. This competition is like the biggest in like men's football. So I'm not missing. It's like the biggest in in men's football. Like I don't care about any other cup cup competitions, but the Champions League and obviously the the Premier League. So the fact that there's this big new hype for women's Champions League as well, and I think Leon deserve a lot of credit for that. They've obviously boosted it, boosted it really well. Barcelona it, as well. Barcelona have, have done a lot for their women's team in the last, in, in most recently they've won it, and then obviously Chelsea and England getting all the way to the final mm-hmm. has really boosted it as well. And then obviously all the new deals on the TV and stuff really helps push it and seeing the adverts for it's just it. Just getting and bigger and bigger, isn't it? Yeah. So little things. Well, I don't know if you call it a little thing, but things like this can sort of, although we may have our little qualms with it and. Yeah. Being nitpicky about things, it's really important that these things happen because it's just another, another thing to sort of help build it all up. Oh yeah, we need to be grateful, don't we? Really? Yeah. Stop taking the mick out of the names. I'm not taking the mick out. I just think it could be a better choice of words. I, I, I think it could be a better choice of words as well. I agree with you. But that's like, only if, that's only if we're being really picky about it. Well, that's only yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's nice. I like it. I think it'll be a nice little spectacle. So I think we should go. Spectacle tonight. Oh god! If you want to pay for my flights to Turin, in Italy, you, can you get a direct flight from Liverpool to Turin? I don't know. You probably get one get from a, Manchester. Can you get a boat? We're not going by no, boat. No, we're not going. Uh, Forget we should go private jets. We'll drive. Uh, <laughs> You're a tunnel. Here we go. <laughs> no, it'd be me driving. Why? Because you guys don't want to drive. I love driving. Yeah. It's good. In your little Ford Fiesta. In your little Ford Fiesta. I've not seen your new car yet. So sad. I'll have a look. Mm. Anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Willie Kirk. Now, <laughs> you know, us being Liverpool fans, Everton is not our favourite team no. ever. But I could live without them. Yeah. But in recent seasons, I do have to say, I have 
liked to keep an eye on Everton women. You've got to take your hat off to them yeah, as well. They've done really well. And I think Willie Kirk is a huge part of that. Yeah. But he's gone. Now. <laughs> to put it bluntly, he's gone. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Willie Kirk has left Everton women um, as their manager. Dun, dun, dun. Which I don't know. I'm shocked at. Yeah. I am surprised by it. Yeah. They've obviously not had the best start to the to the season. No. But they're doing all right. They're doing I, okay. You know what I mean? I didn't think they'd necessarily been awful. Do you know what I mean? No. Like they were winning some I think they had a really tough run at the start of the season. Um They like played the, some like really Yeah. They they were like up teams. against quite top opponents for like the start of the season and like I didn't necessarily think that they were on the grounds of sacking a manager, but like here, here we are. They well, have. They currently sit in eighth place. Oh. Six points, but they're only four points off Man United in fourth. It's quite close in the WSL so at the minute, quite, isn't it? It's quite go- it's quite close. The last the last five is three losses and two wins. Right. So, you know, Again, I don't think I didn't think it was enough for him to leave or for him to be sacked, whatever way they want to put it. Mm. Um, obviously, he was appointed in twenty eighteen. Um, yeah, it's just random, weird because they obviously had that one season where it looked like it was bad news. Ta-ta for now. Yeah, yeah. And then last season, like skyrocketed did really well did really season. well was like close to getting like Champions League they got League into, the, they got into the final of some sort of cup competition if I remember was it the it wasn't the FA maybe it was the Conti Cup and they lost yeah. to, to, to City, the City or City. Arsenal must have been yeah it was one of the cup competitions <laughs> I don't know. They lost the City or Arsenal or Chelsea. It was one of them. Well, one of the top three table <laughs> teams. <laughs> yeah. But in a statement, Evan said they hope to have a new manager in post in time for the club's Continental Cup fixture at Leicester on the 3rd of November. So, so you what? They're going to have to get a shift on. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> yeah. But that's... But, like, who would you get? So, former Leon manager, and I want you to try and pronounce his name. <laughs> Jean-Luc Vasseur. That one. Is believed to be a potential candidate for the role. Right. Um... Okay. Okay. Experience. Experience. W- obviously. Trophy winning. Yeah, trophy winning. Knows how to. European dynamite. Knows what knows what to do in his job role. Let's just say he he fits the job description very well. He does. He's yeah. the perf- He's the ideal candidate for the job. Yeah. However, the French league and the WSL are very different. Oh yes. Different and, demands. Mm, so and I don't know. I think it's just. I feel like it was a bit, just a bit too hasty for me. Right. From Everton. Okay. Um, especially because between now and, and December, there's a fair few games, but you do have a decent break over Christmas. Mm. Why not Why not do a Liverpool and do it in January? I don't know. You know, if, if you... I think well, that they, was unplanned anyway. Yeah, wasn't it? but I think I think they could have I think they could have given him a little bit longer, especially with ha- what he's done the last couple of seasons. But mm. who are we to say? We don't know what goes. Yeah, goes I'm sure on. he'll find somewhere else. Yeah. He's a good manager. He is. I do feel sorry for him, but is I mean, it? I presume they they expected more from him for the start of the season. Yeah, Just put, like to be fair, like I think everyone expected more from Everton for the start of the season because of how the. Like they recruited season, well especially. as well. Yeah, they recruited very well. Mm. Ob- but obviously lost some players as well. Like Hayley Rasso went to yeah. City and stuff like that. So mm. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. But then obviously Tony Duggan comes back. She's not really fired though, actually. She's not really fired either, which is no. really, on one hand, very disappointing. On the other, not really disappointing, but... I don't know. We'll see. I still think they can, I still think they they, can turn it around. Oh yeah, they're not going to get relegated, but... Oh man, you never know. Oh, uh, poor Leicester at the bottom there. Zero I know. points. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk it? I know. Who'd Tell you what though, it? we've had a few questions off Twitter. Go on. Well, we've had one. We've had two, <laughs> but one of them's a question for us, which is, are we going back on Spotify? We we probably should. Um, I don't know the Acast login. I'm gonna be honest. Tom, what do you need to tell us? With the we, Acast we need login we need is. to sort that out. I keep looking everywhere at this camera. Okay, the other one is from Alex Sinclair. Very topical. Mm. Are you going to dress up for Halloween? No. No. (laughs) (laughs) 
I don't. I, I haven't. Done I do don't any year. You know. Don't do. I am dressed up for Halloween. I'm gonna since carve I was a pumpkin. Seven. I see. I don't even do that. We're gonna have a, have a pumpkin. I don't. I'm, I don't like scary things. So Halloween's not for me. Right. It's okay. Not my, it's not my kind of vibe because, like, Amy could scare me right now when she's sitting <laughs> next to me. I didn't so see it well. you could, yeah. <laughs> so um, Halloween's just not my thing. Even when, like, the Halloween, the new Halloween Kills movie or whatever it is, the Michael yeah, Myers no. one that comes on on the advert for YouTube, I have to mute the laptop and, like, look away because it's it okay, freaks me is, out. Is everything okay? I just don't like scary things, okay. so I won't be dressed up for Halloween. Okay, well, there's, um, a, there's a second part to this question, okay. which might be a little bit more exciting mm. and, and nice for you personally. Mm. Would you permanently sign Charlotte Wardlaw? She has been unreal. Yeah. I would. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, to, but that's the short answer. The the long answer is, at the when she came here, we were like, who's this? Who's this? Like, what's she gonna bring to us? What can she offer? But I'm pretty sure she started every single game so far this season. Maybe maybe bar one or two. Yeah. Um, and she's performed really, really, really well. And obviously, that's the aim for lone players, especially if you know she's come from Chelsea, she's come from a WSL team mm. to a championship team. The aim of the game is for her to play as many minutes as she possibly can this season. Yeah, we've offered her that, and I think she's getting it. She's she? she's and she's performing really, really well. She obviously got a first goal against um, Sheffield United as well. Was it? Well, it was Sheffield? Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I second guess myself, then, you, but it was. Tell you what, though, on the, on like the, the flip side, it's going to be down to her decision, isn't it? Chelsea you probably are going to look at that as well. Oh, she's doing really well. Let's keep her. I think her heart is probably with Chelsea. It, yeah, it probably um, is. So it comes down to that decision from her. For the end of the day, I'd happily keep her though. I'd happily keep her, and like you say, her decision there. Like, but she's also got to look at Chelsea as a as a team that she may not break into next season either. With the squad that they've got at the minute, yeah, it might be more of a. It might be more know. of a maybe in a two or three season time. Mm. You never know. It obviously, depends on how the the rest of the season goes. But so far, I'm I'm really impressed. Me too. I think she's done really really well. I'd I'd happily keep her. For Liverpool, I think I think everyone else would, yeah. would say the same as well. Me too. Huh? Is that is that all for the Q and A? That is all in my book. Yes. I haven't got any. So. Okay, it's fine. We go again. All right then. All right. <laughs> thank you very much for watching this week's podcast remember to like the video comment subscribe to the channel um if you listen on spotify it means we found the acast login um <laughs> let's just hope we have but yeah thank you very much for watching and we will see you all next week with a new podcast bye, bye.